Yo, what is up guys? It's King Pyro here and I'm back with another video and today we got Mike Wallace uh, 95 overall. So he has 99 speed and 99 sped catch, 96 catch. Um, but one thing I want to mention is he has really bad run blocking. I don't know why I didn't record it, but uh, I kind of witnessed it for myself. He got pushed to the side or just like gave up. I don't know. He just, he was not that good at run blocking. So if you're looking for a run blocking receiver, definitely not the guy to get. But, um, one thing I found interesting on Mutthead is that his player traits said he drops open passes. And, uh, I can definitely say that's not true at all. You'll see it in some of these clips. So, starting off with run after the catch, dude, this guy went off, dude. That's where he got me most of my yardage, or just got that first down, barely. Or just got to the end zone, like, right after he caught it on those drag routes. So, yeah, something that's really nice about this card. You could definitely depend on the run after the catch, like this one right here. He just burns him on a short route and then goes for the touchdown. So definitely really good about this card if you're looking for a receiver like that. Uh, definitely could run him in the slot or the tight end. And a lot of people do do that. But let's move on to catching traffic. Catching traffic is nothing to worry about either. When it comes to the deep ball, if you're going one-on-one. -on -one. Now if it's double coverage, then don't test it. Because whenever he was in double coverage... For some reason, he would just drop it, or he was surrounded by people, but they weren't really, like, on him, if you guys know what I mean. But, yeah, every time he was near multiple people, he would just drop it. But once it was one-on-one -on -one coverage, well, that's only for the deep ball, by the way. But if you're just throwing regular routes, like, like cuts in or curls or stuff like that, he'll definitely hold on to the ball. So, yeah, nothing to worry about there. I ran a few, uh slants with him but let's move on to the deep ball you see that clip right there he did that so much he outran uh the corners a lot so yeah i really did like about him and if you're on one-on-one -on -one coverage this card absolutely dominated the defenders just spec catched all over him got me touchdowns everything you'll see it in some of these clips right here but we'll you ha will have an exception of a few of a few being dropped especially if you're in double coverage just that's the only bad thing i can really find about this card along with run blocking is whenever he's in double coverage he just drops it but yeah so his he's pretty good card like i really do recommend getting this card for around 60k and that's what he's going for right now 60 to 50 and i think he'll continue to drop this is definitely one of the better receivers in his price range you can pretty much do everything that you need him to especially when it comes to the deep ball plays like he that was another play right there where he just completely outran the defender so um would i go out and get this card yes but i don't know if you want to run him at the number one you definitely can i was but i think he would be more effective in the slot and stuff like that but that's pretty much it for this review. I would go out and get them. Let me know what you guys want me to review next. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of the clips. <laughs> Thank you.